If you want to learn how to seize a D-ring to a dive hose, diving umbilical, or a bigger rope so that you have a secure rigging and connection point, stick around. I'm going to show you guys how to do just that in this video. Okay, so what you're going to need is a tape measure, D-ring, or a shackle. I got a two inch. You need some scissors. I got about six or seven feet of twine. And of course, I got a dive hose, which I'm going to be seizing to. Okay, so we got our dive hose here. I got our two inch D-ring. We're going to take our twine here, get everything laid out. And I'm going to go behind both of these. So let's go behind the dive hose, behind the D-ring. We're going to go pull it back through to us. We're going to take that tail end and put it under the rope and back up. Now we're going to take that tail end and wrap it around the top of that eye. So if you can see that there, I'm wrapping around about four times and we're just effectively what we're doing here is just making a simple timber hitch. And, uh, and the most important part here is you just want to make sure that this, this is not getting bunched up when you pull tight on it. See when I pull tight, it's not cinching up like a noose. It's, it's wrapped around, but it's wrapped around evenly. If it bunches up, then you want to restart. So you're looking for something like that. And so it's going to take a minute, especially with the, if you're using a D-ring and a hose just like this, it's going to be a little awkward. That D-ring is going to have some weight and want to fall back. But just be patient with this part. This part's a very important step. If it bunches up on you, um, then you're going to have to start over because it's going to throw off everything else. It's going to leave a big bump and you're not. So we take now our working end. We go make a pass around. We're going to make a couple passes around here to get things started. And as you're doing this, you want to hold that hitch with the finger and pull everything nice and tight. You want to keep make sure everything's nice and taut here as you're doing this. And so, and I did cross back over to the beginning there, as you can see. So now we're just kind of starting over. Make sure everything's nice and tight there. You can see how that D-ring's kind of crooked right now. That doesn't matter. We just want to keep it nice and nice and tight. As long as it's nice and tight, it will straighten itself out. So now we're going to keep going here. We're going to make some passes. And the important thing with this, with that first hitch that you did there to hold the line so you can get started, the most important thing there is to make sure that that tail from that gets tucked in. So you, you can see here, I'm tucking in that tail as I continue my wraps. So we want that to be nice and hidden, but we also, by doing this, it's going to make sure that it's it's also nice and tight and being held by the, the seizing here. Okay, and we're going to make a few more wraps here. We're gonna get this thing nice and tight as you're doing this. So you, you can see here, so as I'm pulling through with my left thumb, I'm holding the twine. I'm holding that rope there as I'm pulling everything through so I can keep everything nice and tight. So now, now we're closer to the end here. You can see how if you keep it nice and tight and just lay these wraps right next to each other, right on top of each other, it's going to be nice and uh, uniform. That's that's what we're looking for right there. So we're getting one more here. And yeah, you can see that little gap in the back. That's fine. Afterwards, I mean, this is this is nice and tight. So afterwards, we'll go ahead and just kind of scoot those together. It's not too big of a deal. But you do want to keep everything nice and tight, just like it looks like here on the front end. So next stop here, we're going to take our tail end. As you see, we pulled it through the D-ring, then wrapped it around the D-ring. So now it's kind of sandwiched between the D-ring and the hose. Pull it back around And see, we'll just push that in because you want to keep that nice and tucked in there. You don't want anything loose for when it uh, when you're actually using this. You want it to be all nice and tight and secure. So now we brought it around. We wrapped it around the front there. We did our first wrap. 
Okay, so now you can kind of see what we've got here. We've got two wraps in the back and one wrap coming around the front. So now this, this next part here, I'll show you guys how we're going to begin finishing this off. So that, that line right there that we're holding, we're going to take the tail end and tuck it. We're going underneath the D-ring, come back around the front of the D-ring, just like that. Now we're taking that tail end, we're going to tuck it underneath that second wrap. And we're going to pull all that slack through. And now this is a very important part. When we pull that slack through, we want to make sure that where this is, where this lands, it gets tucked in right on the edge of those wraps. So as you can see, it's not, it's not in the middle of those wraps. It's not off to the side. It's right in the edge. And the purpose for that, you guys will see here in a minute, but that's going to hold it there in that corner nice and secure so that never moves. It never, uh, it sees a lot less wear and tear right there. It's kind of tucked, tucked away and protected. But that right there is going to, um, that's a very important step. So now we're doing one last wrap. This is very important. Come back around the D-ring just like you did. Now instead of taking our tail end and tucking it between those again, we're going to take our tail end and tuck it under both of those wraps that we did around the D-ring. And the tail end of this wrap is going to go over that wrap that we just did. You can see right there. You can see it just move a little bit. It's going to go over that. Take this tail end and stick it through that loop of slack that we've just created. And we're still going around the D-ring. And look at this. We want to make sure that it's, when it's right up in that corner and you feel comfortable with it, then you can go ahead and pull it tight. But once you get this tight and it's, you got it locked in there, just know that it's, it's not coming out. So now we can go ahead and pull that slack through and tighten that up there. Now, this is pretty much done right here. We do have a little bit of gappage there. We just have to slide the wraps closer together. But that right there is locked in place. You have a nice knot at the end of that D-ring. It is not going anywhere. The last step that we have to do is clip this tail. You want to leave maybe about a quarter inch or so, which is also like three to five centimeters there. And we're going to take a lighter and burn those frays until they start to catch fire. Just enough so they start to melt, and then we'll just press that knot up into itself. So just press that end into itself so it's melted nice and flat, not going anywhere. Now let's take a look. That is a nice seizing job. Now you guys have a nice, secure rigging point. Thanks for watching, you guys.